boys and girls, we just got done reading a really silly story about monkeys jumping on the bed. So I thought today we would make a silly monkey of our own, okay? So what you're going to want to do is look in your resource materials and find the big baggie that contains all of your brown and mm, like yellowish vanilla colored monkey pieces, okay? You'll see some round pieces. You'll see some straight pieces that look like big lines. So go ahead and get that out, and you're going to need a glue stick, too. So let's get started. Like when we write our letters, we always start at the top, top, top. We're going to start at the top, top, top with our monkey, too. So how many heads does a monkey have? One. So find your brown, round circle. We're going to start with that it right on your table or your artboard or whatever you're using. Now, what we're going to do is give our monkey a little bit of color. So on top of our brown circle, we are going to put our yellow circle. Okay? So what I want you to do is take your glue stick and put some glue on your yellowish looking circle. It's kind of like a yellow or a skin color. And you're going to put that right on top of your brown circle. Press it down really, 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 really good. And you will see the yellow circle on top of the brown circle. That's going to be your monkey's face. Okay, now we are going to add eyes. So I want you to find your black circles. How many eyes does a monkey have? Two. So let's put a little bit of glue on our monkey's eyes. Now this is a trick I taught you at school. Ah, look it. I caught the eye right on my glue stick. I don't even get my fingers dirty. So you're going to want to paste one eye down. And let's do it again on the other eye. Oh. And let's go, go ahead and glue it down. Monkey has two eyes. How many noses does a monkey have? One. So again, we're going to put a little bit of glue on another black circle, which is going to be monkey's nose, and we're going to put it right in the middle. Look at that, there's our monkey's face. Now if you want, you can use a black crayon and give your monkey a mouth. It's up to you. I'll give my monkey a smiley face. Now, how many ears does a monkey have? Two ears. So we are going to start with our brown circle, our small brown circle. That is going to be our monkey's ear. But before we do that, let's add a little color to hit um, monkey's ears, too. So also find your yellow or your light colored circle. We're going to put some paste or some glue on our light colored circle and stick it right in the middle of our brown circle. Just like that. We're going to do that to our other ear too because remember monkey has two ears. So I added some glue to the light colored circle and I'm sticking it on top of the brown circle. So now, we have two ears. So I'm going to put those ears on both sides of my monkey's head. So I'll put a little bit of glue down on one side of his head, and a little bit of glue down on the other side of his head, and I'm just going to stick those ears right on. Okay. Now, that is our monkey's face. He is looking very cute and very silly. Now, let's make his body, okay? So take the big brown circle, or oval. It kind of looks like an oval. And we're going to add some color to his body, too. So also take the light-colored oval that you have. Now let's put some glue on the light-colored oval. And we will stick it right in the middle of his body. You gotta press it down hard so it doesn't come apart. Maybe use some extra glue. 
Now, we have his body and we have his head. We need to put them together. So watch this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the top of his body. It's probably hard to see my purple glue, but I just put it right here at the top. And now I'm going to stick his head right on top of my glue and push really hard so it stays on there. So now his head is connected to his body. Now, how many arms does a monkey have? Two. Two long arms. So I want you to take two of your papers, of your long strips, and we are going to make his arms. Now, you can just glue his arms on like this if you want to, but I thought it would be fun to make his arms look silly. So we are going to fold his paper fold his arms and make them kind of look like um, an accordion. I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to fold up and then let's see. I'm going to fold over and then I'm going to keep folding it, turning my paper over and then I'm going to flip it over and turn it under and then I'm going to flip it over and fold down, turn it over, fold down, flip it over, and fold down. I'm just going to keep doing that, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I just keep flipping my paper, whoop, over and over. And folding, and folding. Okay, are you ready to see what it looks like? Okay, watch this. Look at that! It looks kind of like um, an accordion or something that maybe it looks like the window, the blinds on your windows. I don't know. So you can take this arm. We're going to put a little glue on one side of his body and stick his arm on. Look at that, how silly that looks. Now feel free to do that to his other arm. Just remember, when you're working with your paper, you're folding a piece down, then flip it over and fold another piece down, and then flip it over and fold another piece down. If you would like your arms to look silly like that, okay? I'm not going to do that again because it would take too much time on my video. And I don't think you guys want to sit and just watch me do that. I'm sure you're ready to go do it yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape my other arm on his body just the way it looks. Kind of silly. Now, how many legs does a monkey have? Two. So, you can go ahead and make the monkey's legs look silly, too, just like you did with the arms. You can take a piece of paper, and you can make a fold down, then flip it over, make another fold down, and flip it over. Keep folding and flipping until you get the end of your paper. And I'll show you what my silly leg looks like. Whoop. Just like his silly arm. So to put the leg on your monkey, you need to go to the bottom of his body and put some paste. And stick it on there. Just like that. Now I have one more leg to do. And you can go ahead and just tape it on or glue it on if you want. Or you can do the flip fold, flip fold, flip fold. Okay. And then when you're done, make sure to put more glue at the bottom of his body and stick it on. So now my silly monkey has two legs and two arms, but we have one more strip of brown paper to use. What do you think that is going to be? we make it his tail. 
So for his tail, if you want, you can fold and flip your paper again, or you can try and just run your fingers over it and make it curvy. Or maybe you can roll it instead of fold it. You can roll it with your fingers and make a curly tail. Okay? Now, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the side of his body and pretend that the tail is coming off his backside. Or you can just glue it on the backside of your monkey. Maybe that's a good idea. I'm going to flip my monkey over and put a little glue on the back side because his tail is on the back of his body. Okay, now there's my finished monkey. He's ready to go jump on some beds. Silly monkey. Go find your friends. Have a great day, guys.